Buenas noches, ya vamos a comenzar la clase para intermedio 3. Solo vamos a esperar que eh, se conecten más alumnos para poder comenzar. Vamos a esperar unos minutos más para ver si se conectan y después vamos a comenzar uh, la clase. Solo vamos a esperar un momento. Hello, good evening. Hi, Olga, how are you? You're fine? Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of muted right now. Yeah, your, your microphone is muted. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Hi. I can wash it. <laughs> oh, okay. see it. No, wash, wash it. It's... Uh huh. Okay. I can wash it. <laughs> I can't wash it. Okay. How... I go. <laughs> okay. How are you, Olga? How are you... I'm fine. Uh huh. Uh, what you been doing? Um. I I study little. <laughs> you studied a little. Yes, yes. And did you have I, a good vacation? Um, so so, but it's my stomach is not very well right now. Well, yesterday and uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, but I I uh, I know. Uh, what is the the uh, lo que me produce? Uh, what el, makes me? Uh, uh, what makes me uh, the problem is a pill. Pill. I I must I must uh, take for uh, someone uh, um, problem of my health. Mm -hmm. And I get out <laughs> uh, if I am better. <laughs> okay, so you're better now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hopefully you you will keep feeling better. 
Thank you for being here, Olga, even though you're kind of sick, right? Okay. Thank you, Olga. Uh, Rafael, how are you? How was your vacation? Well, uh, I, I never had vacation with three children. It's <laughs> impossible to me. It's impossible. Did you do something different? Did you go outside? Well, uh, we went uh, to visit the, the partners. Mm -hmm. uh, and we went to mass. Mm -hmm. And staying home, cleaning, cooking. Okay, uh, did you see the parades or you didn't go to the parades? What's, what's the meaning parade? Parade, this feeling? Oh, no, to me it's not interesting. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like... Uh, place with crowd and it's no 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 to me no no okay so you you rather to like stay at home cooking and doing different things right inside of I, your house i know rather but i i have to do it <laughs> <laughs> anyway. okay i understand yes obligations first now anna and alejandra are you there Yes, teacher. How was your vacation? Well, Thursday I stay at home mm -hmm. and rest and watch TV. Mm -hmm. And Friday I have to work <laughs> mm -hmm. all day. Okay, very good, Alejandro. Did you study a little bit of English? Yes, I study in the at the platform. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you have to work in the platform. So you finish, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Hello. Okay, Anna, I think she is driving. So probably she will be just listening. And remember that uh, this will this is the third week, right? And the last the, the last week will be the next one. The next one it will be the last week for this class. La próxima es la última semana para esta clase. Así que ya vas. Todo va a ir más rápido, ya van a ver que todo, pues el módulo del día pronto se acaba, ya que vamos ya a la mitad, ¿verdad? Así que eh, parece que tenemos alguien más. Felix, how are you, Felix? Are you there or are you driving? Good evening. Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect. And did you study English during your, your vacations or what did you do? Uh, really, I didn't have time for studying. Okay, I understand, no problem. Probably we will practice a little bit because we had a homework, right? Teníamos una tarea. ¿Cuál era la tarea? What was the homework? Uh, the review of, of, uh, about a movie, but I forget to uh, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, no problem. You can just share your opinion, right? You don't have to write something uh, like very long. Just provide your opinion. Uh, we are going to have a little bit uh, of a review and then we are going to check the, the homework. Vamos a revisar la tarea después, que era que ustedes tenían que escribir una uh, reseña, ¿verdad? De una película, una serie que les haya gustado o que no les haya gustado. Entonces, solo para que ustedes den su opinión. Uh, just to review, vamos a re repasar primero. Just to review, we have participles and uh, as adjectives, right? Present participles and past participles. And you had to use present participles and past participles to describe your review to practice, right? Um, Olga, can you tell me a present participle, please? An example of a present participle as an adjective? Uh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, very good. Interesting. Uh, wonderful. Oh. Yeah, wonderful is an adjective, but it's not a present participle, uh, right? Sorry. Yes, yes. Yeah, I but, know. <laughs> it, but interesting, it's good, yes. It's a present participle as an adjective. Mm -hmm. And Alejandra, can you give me a past participle as an adjective? Mm, exciting. 
excited, right? Excited. We have exciting with ing and excited with ed, mm -hmm. right? So they are different. First, mm -hmm. we are going to listen to people talking about movies, TV programs, and we are going to match, right? We are going to, let me see here. Listen people to talk about movies, TV programs, and match uh, each conversation to the statement that best describes the people's opinion. So we have these special offers on amazing look into an exotic country, the new investigation into these creatures was a waste of time, the bad acting with this boring idea makes it terrible. She is excited to read more of this clever mystery series. So, oh, más que todo, vamos a escuchar, vamos a ver cómo se dice una reseña, ¿verdad? So, let me look for it. I think it's here. And we are going to like just listen and we are going to provide our opinion, right? Let's see here. And let me know if you are able to listen to it or not, okay? Because I think it is still loading. Have you read any of the other books? Are you able to listen to it? Yes, we listen. Yes. Okay. Okay, so we are going to listen to it and then we are going to check the information. This one, I guess we already practiced it. So we are going to listen. Participles. A. Aided by Stephen King's piece. Page 88, exercise five. Listening. What did you think? Part A. Listen to people talk about books, movies, and TV programs. Match each conversation to the statement that best describes the people's opinions. 1. What did you think of the movie? Pretty terrible. I walked out after half an hour. You did? Yeah. It was so boring that I started falling asleep. And I've never seen such bad acting. I think I'm going to start reading movie reviews online so I don't waste my money. Okay, uh, the number one was letter A, B, C, or D. Which one do you think? The special offers, the special offers an amazing look into exotic country. The new investigation into these creatures was a waste of time. C, is the bad acting with this boring idea makes it terrible? Or D, she is excited to read more of this clever mystery series. Which one? C. C, right? Very good. C. Just because he mentioned the bad acting, right? And the idea was boring. Very good. Let's continue. Two. What do you think of Sue Grafton's books? I love those mysteries. When I started to read A is for Alibi, I couldn't put it down. I stayed up till four in the morning to finish it. Wow. Have you read any of the other books in the series? Oh, yeah. They're fantastic. B is for Burglar, C is for Corpse. I'm already up to K is for Killer. Using the alphabet to build a mystery series is such a clever idea. I can't wait to read all 26 books. I wonder what Z will be. Okay, perfect. Now, which one is number two? A, B, C, or D? D. D, D right. She is excited to read more of these clever mystery series. She's reading books, right, of mystery. Very good. Number three, let's see. Three. Did you see that documentary on TV last night? The one about Australia? I did. It was fascinating. I didn't know they had so many different kinds of animals there. And the photography. Yeah, it was pretty amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It made me really want to go there and see it for myself. Number three, which one uh, is the letter that matches B. it? B. A. A, A. A, right. A, A, right. Yeah, probably A, because it says this special offers an amazing look into an exotic country, un país exotico, right? And he was talking about a, a country. And let's see the last one, right? Four. 
Are you reading that book too? It seems everyone's reading it now. When did UFOs become so popular anyway? Actually, I just finished it. What a waste of time. Just the same silly stuff about visitors to Earth from other planets. I know. It said absolutely nothing new. You know, I'm tired of hearing stories about little green creatures. If they're real, how come no one can ever take a picture of them? Okay, and the last one? B. Is the letter B right? B, B. as in boy. The new investigation into these creatures was a waste of time. So very good. That's giving your opinion into something, right? It can be a series or a book or something uh, related to it. And we are going to check this one later. Like this is like emphatic stress. But first of all, we are, I want to listen to uh, your review. Did you do the homework? Hicieron alguna reseña, a review of a movie or a series? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, what a movie or series did you review, Olga? Uh, in, in Spanish is El, El Precio de la Verdad. El in English de la verdad. is Dark Water. Okay. Or water. And what did you think about this movie? Is it a good movie or is it a bad movie? It's a good movie, but it's a slow um, movie. Okay. But it's interesting. It's a denuncia, ¿cómo se dice? Like a claim? Uh, what? A claim? A claim to, mm -hmm. to social claim. Una denuncia social? Uh-huh. Uh, about the... the um, uh, chemical, mm -hmm. uh, how how chemical produce uh, something, articles, um, is, is, is basada, está basada, it was based. Uh, it was based. Uh -huh. Okay. It, it was based to the Teflon. Uh-huh. And the problem uh, was uh, a difficult help uh, at the people. Mm -hmm. It's a real case. It's a real case. Yes, it's in United States in um, West Virginia. Virginia. Okay, very it's good. Starring, it's starring is Mark Ruffalo and Han Anne Hathaway. It's a, a, a fascinating. A fascinating mm -hmm. actors. Fascinating actors. Very good. Uh -huh. yes. And uh, did you like the, the story? From one to ten, how much do you give the the movie? Like with the actors and the story, and it was based on real life. Um. Uh, I I make me think about uh, our planet, mm -hmm. and right now. Uh, there are uh, um, the, uh, 60, six, no, 600 uh, products relative uh, with them, mm -hmm. um, which uh, done information for people. And the people think about them. Um, in this case, uh, the chemical was a uh, Dupont, mm -hmm. and and they uh, give us the people um, 60, 70 million dollars. They gave to people 70 million dollars because- No, 60, six, uh, 670 uh -huh. million dollars. <laughs> For the people, for people, seven hundred six hundred seventy million dollars. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Um, so at, at the end, you like the movie? It was a good movie, or it was so so. I like it. Uh, I like it. I um, I I I see 
um, uh, di, uh, ¿cómo puedo decir? Lo que hace una persona. <risa> lo que se yo olvidado. Uh, the, a one person um, uh, with love for others. Yes. For the, is a, a lawyer, mm -hmm. a one lawyer, mm -hmm. um, a bit, uh, for a, a, a brief chemi a chemical, um, chemical, mm -hmm. chemical, uh -huh. and it's, it's very interesting. I like uh, watch again. <laughs> Yes, yes, probably. Actually, I will watch it. I, I've heard about the, the movie, but I haven't watched it yet. So I don't know if it is good or if it is bad. So, But I will That's watch it because good. you said that it's really interesting, right? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Okay. Good job. Very good review. Thank you. And very good homework. A lot of, a lot of information. Very good. Thank now, you. who wants to continue with the movie review or series review? Alguien más, somebody else que haya hecho eh, la tarea. Parece que Soraya, eh, she is sick, so probably she won't be able to participate. And Ana also, right? So we have Alejandra, Felix, Rafael. Who wants to continue, or, or you didn't do the homework? I forgot. To do it you forgot to do it no problem uh, but have you watched any good movie recently like something that you can recommend like an opinion of a movie for example if it is good or not so good uh, recently recently no but uh, there's a, a movie mm -hmm. and i love it uh, is is i am sam i am sam mm -hmm. And what it's is that a, movie about? It's about uh, uh, um, a special man with a uh, disability. 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 And mm -hmm. um, for accident, he he make love with a girl, and she 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 stay in. in Pregnant, pregnant, mm -hmm. and and both have a, a, a girls, and she and he he fight for the for the custodia del niño de la niña custodia the custody the custody for custody of of the girls. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 he fight for 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 that uh, um the f uh, it's a it's a uh sad movie but mm -hmm. it's so interesting because uh show the show the 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 love about his daughter mm -hmm. and it's 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 a good movie i i love it but i can't describe totally <laughs> yeah i understand but i actually it, it is it's not like a very a very recent movie but it seems that it's like a drama right so it seems that it's it's really interesting right because he's like disabled and he fights for the custody of his daughter right mm -hmm. okay perfect yeah it, it sounds interesting really good thank you rafael do we have another another person another volunteer someone else no okay no problem we are going to continue with this because this wasn't like an extra, right? Esto era solo para que ustedes practicaran. But we are going to continue with the class because we have a lot of material to cover. And uh, this is just the pronunciation stress. 
just in case that you would like to practice. And also we are going to add the vocabulary to the slides. We are going to add it here at the end so you can have it. Uh, how do you say es una denuncia social? How do you say mm -hmm. that? It's a social complaint, right? Okay. It's a social complaint. How do you say, like, for example, uh, es basada en hechos reales. It's based on real events, right? Or is a real story, right? It's a real story. It's a, we can say that also. It's a real story. We can say it um, uh, also just for pronunciation. We have this other word, chemicals, right? <laughs> chemicals. It's kind of complicated because the way it is uh, written. Another one is disability, right? Disability, discapacidad. And sometimes numbers are kind of complicated, right? $670 million, right? $670 million. So very good. You can practice this. And I'm going to add this at the end just for you to check it in the vocabulary. Now we are going to check the intonation just uh, to sound more natural. And then we are going to check this. This is the intonation. This is just for you to, to check, right? The, how you can sound more natural. This is emphatic stress. And uh, this is how the sentences sometimes they drop at the end or sometimes they go down or they stay the same, right? For example, the first one, it says, that's terrible. Like, um, at the end of the sentence, the sound drops, right? Al final, el sonido como que cae, ¿verdad? That was terrible. So the stress is it's on terrible, right? Terrible. Yeah, at the beginning of, of that word. The other one is, he was amazing. Amazing. So it has some stress. And after the stress, it goes down, right? Or that's fascinating. Fascinating, right? So that's for you just to practice. If you want to, we can practice it right now just really quickly because we have a lot of information now. For example, uh, repeat after me, please. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's, that's terrible. terrible. Very good. He was amazing. He was, he was amazing. amazing. He was amazing. He, he was, was amazing. amazing. Very good. That's fascinating. That's, That's fascinating. fascinating. That's fascinating. That's fascinating. fascinating. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. No, so that is just mm -hmm. emphatic stress. That is your, uh, just for pronunciation. And let me see here. Now uh, we are going to practice just the reading and listening just to know more about movies, right? It says, listen to people talk about some of their Hollywood favorites. Can you guess the actress of, or actor or movie each person is describing? We are going to read one, number two, uh, number three, and number four. We are going to read the paragraphs and we are going to practice the intonation, right? The emphatic stress. Try to sound natural. And we are going to guess what this person is describing in each paragraph. Vamos a descubrir qué es lo que describen en, en cada párrafo. I want a volunteer to read the paragraphs. Un voluntario para que me ayude a leer los párrafos. Alguien, por favor. I would like to try to read. Okay. Okay, Felix, okay, Felix, I will read I'll number read. one and then Rafael, number Rafael. two. Begin, Felix. Okay, he's a famous American actor who is also a successful director and producer. He won the Oscar for the best motion picture in uh, 2013. With Ar Argo, uh, which he direct and co-produce. 
Very good. Now we are uh, talking about an actor, right? He is a famous, famous American actor. That's the way it is pronounced, famous, right? And who is also a successful director. Also, he won Best Motion Picture, Mejor Película, in 2013 with Argo. Who is this person? ¿Quién es esta persona? Who knows? Felix, do you know who this person is? This actor? No, I have no idea. No idea. No idea. Okay, Anna or let's see. Alejandro, do you know? Soraya? No, teacher. No, okay. I guess it's Ben Affleck. Do you know Ben Affleck? Oh, yes. Oh. yes. <laughs> so he is the famous American actor. Now we are going to guess the next one, number two. Rafael, go ahead. The first movie in the series came out in 1977. It's a science fiction fantasy that has become a blockbuster fran fran franchise. Mm -hmm. the, the history takes place a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Very good. It's Now we're talking about a movie, right? Which... It's a blockbuster from the 70s, 1977, and it's, uh, it has become a blockbuster franchise. What is a franchise? I don't know. Franquicia, right? Franquicia. Oh. So it has a lot of movies. And the story takes place a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. What is this movie? La Guerra de la Galaxia. Star Wars. <laughs> Yes, La Guerra de las Galaxias, Star Wars, very good. Yeah, we have seen that a long, long time ago, like at the beginning of every movie, right? A long time ago in a galaxy yes. far, far away. <laughs> now, number three, who wants to read number three? Let's Me, three. teacher. Okay, Alejandra, go ahead, Alejandra. I really like animated movies. And the third one is, in this series, is my favorite. It's about a boy's toys that have a secret life full of adventures when they are alone. Okay, now this, this is another movie, right? It's an animated movie. And it has a series also because there are like many movies. And it's about a boy's toys that have a secret life full of adventures when they are alone. What is this movie? Do you know Alejandra? Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story. Yes, Toy Story. <laughs> Very good. That's an animated movie. Perfect. Perfect. The last one. Who wants to read the last one? The four. Number four. Volunteer. Me. Okay. <laughs> Rabbi, go ahead. She's, she, she's an actress. Mm -hmm. That is excellent in both dramas and comedies. I love her in Mamma Mia and The Devil's Girls Prada. In 2011, she won the third Oscar for her performance in The Iron Lady. Very good. Now, she, we are talking about an actress. She has uh, dramas also like movies and also comedies. And she's been in Mamma Mia, The Devil's Wears Prada. And she won an Oscar, the third Oscar in The Iron Lady. Who is this, this actress? Meryl, Meryl Streep. Yes, Meryl Streep. Very good. Perfect. Meryl Streep is this actress. It's very, very famous, right? Very famous. Now we're also to describe uh, movies or things, right? Or to give our, our, our opinion. We can use uh, participles as adjectives also. And we are going to talk about synonyms here. We have awful, wonderful, stupid, and strange. Now we have to put all of these uh, completely chart with all the synonyms from the list. For example, awful, what will be awful? Like give me one, one synonym for awful. Do you know the meaning of awful? Horrible. Horrible, exactly, exactly. Now, give me a synonym for awful. Un sinónimo para awful in English? Terrible. Terrible. Exactly. Horrible, right? Very good. Now, wonderful. 
a synonym for wonderful in English? Marvelous. 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 Exactly. Amazing. Perfect. Fantastic. Stup fantastic. Very good. Stupid. Now another synonym for stupid. Silly. Silly. Very good. Silly. Another Ridic one. Ridiculous. Silly. Ridiculous. Dumb. D dumb. 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 Very good. Very good. And now for strange. Where? Bis bizarre. In Very unusual. Good. Unusual. Weird. Bizarre. Weird. Very good. Weird. Exactly. Perfect. Now this is the the synonyms we have completed the the, the chart here. So for awful synonym is disgusting, right? Dreadful, horrible, terrible. We can say all of that is something is like awful, right? Wonderful, we can use fabulous, fantastic, marvelous, outstanding. Stupid is absurd, dumb, ridiculous, or silly. And strange, bizarre, odd, unusual, and weird. So if you see odd, for example, you have an idea now what that word means, right? It's like something strange, something unusual, weird, bizarre. So you have more vocabulary to describe uh, things like movies or books or give your opinion. Questions about this? Pronunciation? Preguntas acerca de significados, pronunciación? No? Okay, we are going to continue. Oh, this is guess the movie, read the following statements and try to guess the movie actor actress. We have done this already, but uh, we can, uh, let's see if we still have time. Yes, we still have time. So um, we are going to read it and then we are going to guess what the movie is, right? For example, the first one is, I can't believe I saw it nine times. It's a movie that stars Kane Winslet. It's about an ocean liner which hits an iceberg and sinks. What is this movie? Titanic. Titanic. Titanic, Titanic, right? Titanic. Very good, Titanic or Titanic. Very good, very good. Next one, let's see. He's the actor who won an Academy Award two years in a row. He got the first Oscar for Philadelphia. And then he won again the very next year for Forrest Gump. Who is this actor? Tom Hanks. Tom, Tom Hanks. Let's Tom see. Hanks. Yes, it's Tom, Tom Hanks, Hanks, right? Very good. Next one, let's see. I love this movie. It's a comedy about a boy that gets left behind when his family goes on vacation and there are some burglars who try to break into the house. It's hilarious. What is this movie? <laughs> it's a comedy. Comedia. Uh, right? uh -huh. Mi pobre angelito, no sé algo así. Sí, mi pobre angelito. <laughs> ah, so Dos. you know in Spanish. You know in Spanish, but you don't know in English. It's home oh, alone, man. right? Home, home alone. alone. You put home, very home good. Alone. Yes, very good. <laughs> Perfect. Let's see. Uh, the fourth one is I love this movie. It's a 2012 American 3D live action adventure drama film directed by Ang Lee. It's about a man who tells a novelist about his life story and how at 16 he survives a shipwreck in which his family dies and is stranded in the sea on a lifeboat with a tiger. Life of P. Let's see. Yes, very good, Rafael. Life of Pi, very good. Next one. Okay, that, that's it, right? Very good, perfect, did it very good. Now we have a relative clauses. This, this is the grammar for today's class. We're going to check it really fast because it's really easy, right? So he's the actor who or that, ¿verdad? Él es el actor que o quien won two Academy Awards que ganó dos premios de la Academia. So we have relative clauses with relative pronouns. 
And we have It's a Movie, which that stars Tom Hanks. Es una película la cual o okay, que eh, protagoniza Tom Hanks, ¿verdad? Entonces, what are uh, the relative pronouns that you know? ¿Cuáles son los pronombres relativos que conocen? ¿O cuáles son los pronombres relativos que ustedes saben? You know relative pronouns? Relative pronouns, pronombres relativos. Do you know that? No. No. Yes, you should, you should know that because that's from basic, right? Relative pronouns are these ones, the red ones. That, who, which, or that. Esos son pronombres relativos. So, eso es el que o quien, ¿verdad? O la cual, la, la película la cual tiene a este actor, etc. Entonces, which es la cual, that es que, y who es quien, ¿verdad? Who only for people, which for things, right? And that for both, right? People and things. Now, these are relative pronouns. And at the beginning of this, for example, sentence, this is a clause. Esta es una cláusula porque no es una oración completa por ella misma. Entonces, se le llama cláusula. Y se le llama relative clause porque inicia con un relative pronoun. Por eso se le llama relative clause. Y las usamos para dar información, ¿verdad? Uh, here we have the description. It's, it says, we can use relative clauses to join two sentences or to give more information about something. Para unir dos oraciones, podemos ocupar las relative clauses o para dar más información. For example, I bought a new car, period. It is very fast, period. I bought a new car that is very fast. So we join both sentences. Another example, she lives in New York, period. She likes living in New York, period. She lives in New York, which she likes, or that she likes. We can use that she likes also, okay? So these are just some examples, just to give more information or to join. We have other here, like he's an actor. He won two Oscars, right? He's an actor who or that won two Oscars. It's a movie, it starts Kane Winslet. It's a movie, which or that starts Kane Winslet. So that's the way that we use it, right? These are relative clauses and just it's just to provide more information or to join two sentences. And we have defining relative clauses and non-defining relative clauses, pero eso es extra, ¿verdad? Tenemos defining relative clauses and non-defining. Uh, defining relative clauses tells which noun we are talking about. I like the, the woman who lives next door. So if I don't say who lives next door, then we don't know which woman I mean. Entonces aquí se necesita esta oración. Es necesaria, ¿verdad? And a non-defining relative clause gives us extra information about something. We don't need this information to understand the sentence. I live in London, which has some fantastic parks. Everybody knows where London is, so which has some fantastic parks is extra information. Entonces, las defining relative clauses eh, son necesarias, es información necesaria, y las non-defining relative clauses es información extra, pero esto es nada más para que ustedes lo sepan, es algo extra, ¿verdad? Now, uh, we are going to practice uh, just to check, right? It says, fill one word in each blank to complete the sentences. Vamos a completar las oraciones con uh, relative pronouns, right? For example, in this one, it's a movie. Let's see here. It's a movie starts Kane's Weasley. What is missing there? Aquí. ¿Qué le falta aquí? Who, right? Who? Or which? Who? Who? Why who? ¿Por qué le vamos a poner who? Porque está hablando de él. Ah, no, no está hablando de la película. Uh -huh. Entonces, which? Which, exactly, which. is talking about the movie. Very mm -hmm. good. Now, uh, next one. It's about an ocean liner. Hits an iceberg and sinks. ¿Y aquí? That. That, yeah, that. 
it's possible. Also, which, oh, right? Because oh, it's talking um, about a thing, right? Mm -hmm. Next one, he is the actor, won oh. an Academy Award two years in a row. Uh huh. Who? Who? Who exactly? It's talking about a person, right? An actor. Mm -hmm. Who? And there are some burglars space try to break into the house. Burglars es ladrones, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Burglars. Wish. No, 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 no. Who? 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 Because it's Who? about oh, people. Oh, that. It's no. about people, right? It's about uh -huh. uh, ladrones, right? Ladrones son people, personas. Uh -huh. uh, teacher, uh -huh. uh, se usa who uh, a pesar de que sea plural. Uh -huh. Ahí se, okay. se diría quiénes, ¿verdad? Quiénes, uh -huh. pero okay. in English is who. Okay. Okay, so. ¿Y who, teacher? Whom. Uh -huh. Es como a quién. Ah, ok. ¿Cómo es a quién? Y este es that, dijimos, ¿verdad? That es para los dos. Uh -huh. Cuando si no sabemos qué usar, podemos usar that, ¿verdad? Este, para cosas o para personas. Uh -huh. Ok, y lo demás, lo que sigue después del who y el that, eso es la relative clause. Justo uh -huh. lo que va después de who o that o which. Eso se le llama relative clause. Okay. Let's see. Next one. Oh, this is just vocabulary also. Genres. How many genres of a movie do you know? For example, we have drama, science fiction, horror, fantasy, work, comedy, animation, action, and romance, right? We have a lot of genres. Like how many genres do you know? What is your favorite genre? What is your least favorite genre? For example, Felix, what is your favorite genre of movies? Uh, action movie. Action movies, why? <laughs> I don't know how to, how to explain. <laughs> you, you have to know, you have to practice, right? You have to try, like... <laughs> Yeah, do you like it because of the fights, the scenes, like because they're fun? Maybe uh, I like I like to watch the fight in the movies. The fights in the movies, right? Yes, yeah. some some of them are really exciting <laughs> or really well executed. Perfect. Yes. Thank you, Felix. Thank you for your opinion. Uh, let's see, quién que quién es que no puede hablar. Alejandra, what is your favorite genre in movies? Comedy. Comedy, why? Because I, I like to laugh a lot. <laughs> yes, everybody likes to laugh a lot, right? And, and you, you like to relax, right? When you are watching a comedy. Yes. Yes. What is your favorite comedy? Alejandra, what is your favorite comedy movie? Um, I like the movies who stars um, Robbie Williams. Robin Williams. Ah, yes, right. Yes. yes. The one that, the one that, who, he dresses like a woman, right? Yes. Yes. It's, it's really fun. Very good. Perfect. Thank you, Alejandra. Let's see what else do we have here. Relative clauses, it said, ask one of your classmates the following questions. Try to ask more questions to have a conversation. Let's see, we have just 10 minutes. Let's see. This is just um, to practice the relative clauses, but I guess uh, we will do it later because this is what we were, we were talking about, like, like this kind of generous, what is your favorite comedy level? Like, what is your favorite actor? And we have we have to use relative clauses, but we will try to use it here, right? This is read a movie, a uh, movie review to the class, answer the questions in the exercise. Esto ya lo hicimos, que esa era la tarea que teníamos, ¿verdad? Era, tenemos que leer un movie review. Y 
eh, podíamos hablar de eso. What was the movie about? What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? How was the acting? And how would you rate it? Y eso lo hicimos al principio, ¿verdad? And this is also, right? This is the same. Um, relative pronouns for people and things, right? Usamos who para qué? Para personas o para cosas? Personas. People, right? And we use people. which. Which para qué? Para personas o cosas? Cosas. Things. Oh, things, right? Very good. Things. For example, if I want to join uh, these sentences, Jennifer Hudson is a singer. She's actor in several films. How can I join them? Si quiero unir esas dos oraciones, ¿cómo las puedo unir con un relative pronoun? Who? Very good with who. Like, how, how will be the, the sentence? Jennifer Hudson? Jennifer is, Hudson is a singer, singer who acted in several films. Very good. Jennifer Hudson is a singer who acted in several films. Let's see number two. The Phantom of the Opera is based on a French novel. It was published in 1911. How can I join those sentences? ¿Cómo puedo unir esas dos oraciones? Which, which or, which, or that, right? Mm -hmm. The Phantom of the Opera is based on a French novel, which, which or that yes. was published in 1911. Very good. Next one, Spider-Man and Transformers are successful franchises. They were adapted from comic books. Which which very good like spider-man and transformers are successful franchises which were adapted right from comic books number four michael keaton is a famous hollywood actor he began his career as a cameraman who who, who very good michael who? keaton is a famous hollywood actor who right began his career as a cameraman Number five, Dakota Fanning is an actress. She made her first movie when she was only seven years old. Who? Who, who very good. Dakota Fanning is an actress who made her first movie when she was only seven years old. And the last one, We Fit is a video game. It helps people to get more exercise. Which, that which or that? Which or that, very good. We fit is a video game, which or that helps people to get more exercise. And we are not able to read the last one, but we are going to continue. Very good, perfect, perfect. It says, ah, oh, this one, this is what we were doing, right? Mm -hmm. The same sentences. Stephanie Mayer is an American writer, and this is a person, right? Stephanie Mayer. Mm -hmm. So it's who, right? Who wrote the Twilight mm -hmm. series. Very good. And I guess this would be the last one because this is about critics. Then we have another activity. Probably we can um, do it later, but this will be the last activity that, that we are going to do, the listening, okay? It says, listen to two critics, Nicole and Anthony, talk about a new movie. Check the movie of the feature that they discuss. They are two extra features. So this is Nicole's opinion. This is Anthony's opinion. These are the two critics. And also um, we have the we have to check the features that they discuss. Acting, story, writing, music, love story, and special effects. Solo vamos a chequear los que ellos hablen. Lo que no hablen, no. Okay? So let me look for it again. I guess this is the same video that we have here. And I guess this will be the last exercise. Just for you to practice your listening. Let's see here. Page 90, exercise 12. Listening at the movies, part A. 
Listen to two critics, Nicole and Anthony, talk about a new movie. Check the features of the movie that they discuss. There are two extra features. Welcome to At The Movies. I'm Nicole Reeves. And I'm Anthony Hale. Good evening. Tonight, we're going to review the new James Bond film. Well, I really liked this new James Bond actor very, very much. Mm-hmm. He's the best actor that's ever had the role. Warm, human, even funny. A totally believable character. I have to agree. A perfect 007 type. Nicole, what did you think of the story? It was the standard Bond movie that has the usual beautiful women, the usual evil villain, nothing new. Well, I'm surprised. I have to say that I thought the story was unusually good. The race car scenes were exciting, and the surprise ending was great. Well, I can't agree with you there. I thought the story was pretty obvious, and I wasn't surprised at all by that twist at the end. Really? What did you think about the music? I was impressed by the music. It was the classic James Bond theme with a modern twist. I couldn't agree more. I haven't heard such interesting music in a movie in a long time. It really added to the action scenes. Yes, but unfortunately, that brings up a weakness in the film for me. The special effects. Again, it's just the same old stuff. The car that flies, the pen that's really a gun. You get tired of that kind of thing. Nicole, I have to disagree with you there. I have to say that the special effects were the best that I've ever seen in a Bond film. So, Anthony, overall, how do you rate this new James Bond movie? Well, Nicole, I'd have to say that I'm proud to give this movie my highest rating, four stars. And I would like to encourage everyone to go and see it. How about you, Nicole? You did like the new actor who plays James Bond. That part's true, Anthony. However, I have to give the movie only two stars, a rating of fair. Hmm. Well, that's all from us tonight. See you next week. Okay, perfect. Do you want to listen to it again? Or did you check it already? I want to listen again. <laughs> okay. Le van a sobrar solo dos. Le van a sobrar dos categorías. Uh -huh. Y las otras, pues, si, la van a, si hablaron de ellas, ¿verdad? Acting, uh -huh. story, writing, music, love story, and special effects. ¿De cuáles esas hablaron y de cuáles no? Let's listen again. Page 90. Exercise 12. Part B. Listen again. Write Nicole and Anthony's opinions of each feature. Welcome to At The Movies. I'm Nicole Reeves. And I'm Anthony Hale. Good evening. Tonight, we're going to review the new James Bond film. Well, I really liked this new James Bond actor very, very much. Mm-hmm. He's the best actor that's ever had the role. Warm, human, even funny. A totally believable character. I have to agree. A perfect 007 type. Nicole, what did you think of the story? It was the standard Bond movie that has the usual beautiful women, the usual evil villain, nothing new. Well, I'm surprised. I have to say that I thought the story was unusually good. The race car scenes were exciting, and the surprise ending was great. Well, I can't agree with you there. I thought the story was pretty obvious, and I wasn't surprised at all by that twist at the end. Really? What did you think about the music? I was impressed by the music. It was the classic James Bond theme with a modern twist. I couldn't agree more. I haven't heard such interesting music in a movie in a long time. It really added to the action scenes. Yes, but unfortunately, that brings up a weakness in the film for me. The special effects. Again, it's just the same old stuff. The car that flies, the pen that's really a gun. You get tired of that kind of thing. Nicole, I have to disagree with you there. 
I have to say that the special effects were the best that I've ever seen in a Bond film. So, Anthony, overall, how do you rate this new James Bond movie? Well, Nicole, I'd have to say that I'm proud to give this movie my highest rating, four stars. And I would like to encourage everyone to go and see it. How about you, Nicole? You did like the new actor who plays James Bond. That part's true, Anthony. However, I have to give the movie only two stars, a rating of fair. Hmm. Well, that's all from us tonight. See you next week. Okay, perfect. Now tell me, uh, what uh, is the things that they mention? What did they mention? Did they mention acting, writing? What did they mention? Acting? Yes or acting, no? Acting, acting. Yes. yes, right. At the beginning, yes. acting. Very mm -hmm. good. The story of the movie? Yes, right? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes very good. The writing, yes or no? No. No, no they didn't no. mention the writing. The music? Yes. 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 The love story? No. No. No, no the love story, no. And the special effects? Yes. 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 Very good. Perfect. And did he like it? Anthony likes the movie or he didn't like the movie? Uh, Nichols no liked the movie. Exactly. Nicole, so she didn't like it, right? And Anthony, yes, he did like it, yes, right? Yes, yes. Perfect, <laughs> perfect, very good. <laughs> Now, uh, we are going to finish with this exercise. Y mañana vamos a empezar con la nueva sección, ¿verdad? Con esta terminamos la de la semana pasada porque no la tuvimos. Mm -hmm. So, I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for your effort and have a nice night. Have a nice evening. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Good, night, Good night, everybody.